what's up my name is techno but here for troubleshoot and in today's video i'll be showing you how to update to windows 11 for free on any computer and of course it works on unsupported machines which is the most important part of this video this is an update video to a previous video i made and we won't be downloading any extra dll files to swap out instead we'll be downloading the official windows iso and doing a couple of newly discovered modifications this is of course to fix the TPM error that most of you are going to be getting if you don't have the TPM feature enabled on your motherboard. Of course, if you do have it available, you should turn it on. Otherwise, if you don't have it available at all and you'd like to go through the risks of running through Windows 11 anyways, here's exactly how you do it. First of all, we'll need to download the Windows 11 ISO. To do so, open up the browser of your choice. I'll run Chrome. I'll search for download Windows 11, click the official Microsoft link, and you'll see this. If you download the installation assistant, run it and choose to upgrade that way, and you see a TPM error, then this is the video that you're looking for. Scroll down to the bottom of this page instead, where you see ISO. Select Download, Windows 11, and Download here. Then I'll be prompted to select a language. I'll do so. Confirm, and 64-bit download here. Then a ISO file will be downloaded onto your computer. All you need to do is wait for this download to finish. This, of course, will take some time depending on your internet speed. And there we go. Now that it is downloaded, I'll open the folder, right-click the ISO, and then click Mount. Now, you'll be able to run setup.exe. If you previously experienced the TPM error, running the setup here should have the exact same effect. There we go. So I'll click Close here, wait for this to close, and I'll reopen our drive over here. This is a virtual disk drive that has now been mounted to. I'll make a new folder on my desktop, and I'll go ahead and drag all of these files out of this ISO that we've mounted as a drive into the folder. I'll close the folder and of course, wait for this to extract. Now that the files have been extracted, what we need to do is open up the sources folder and then look for appraiserres.dll, appraiserres.dll, around 190 kilobytes. Right click this and then click open with, then show apps and notepad. Now, of course, you're not supposed to edit DLL files this way, if at all. This is, of course, a workaround and is not the best thing to be doing. But it does work. Hit Control F and then search for TPM. I'll also click Wrap Around here and Find Now. Then, whenever you see an entry like this, TPM, one line, two line, three line, we'll select everything and delete it as such. Then, Find Next, we'll do this and rinse and repeat for all blocks that contain TPM until we get to something like this, a list, we'll remove that, find next, same thing here, rinse and repeat, same thing here, this time three lines, three lines again, etc. four lines, and there we go, we now see cannot find TPM. If you didn't turn wrap around, you may have missed one at the very top. Next, we'll be searching for AMD64 and hit enter. Then we'll be taken up to the first AMD64 entry. What we need to do is change every one of the entries that is set to equal to true to equal to false, all capitals instead. So we'll do the same for all of these. I'm hitting Control C to copy and Control V to paste. There we go. Now hit Control S to save the file and we'll close out of this. Then head back a folder and then double click on setup.exe. But you're not yet home free. Make sure that when you're on the screen here, you click change how setup works and select not now for updates, drivers, and optional features. Then click next and proceed with the installation as per usual. Accept. Then finally, install. Of course, you can change what to keep and adjust things here. I'll click next, install, and now Windows 11 is installing. I'll speed this up so that you can get right to the end. Now, of course, do keep in mind updating to a brand new operating system is a very good idea to bank backups of absolutely everything on your computer, not just the drive that Windows is on. Though, of course, that may be a bit extreme. You only really need to back up the drive that Windows is installed on, your C drive. So back up important documents, go into your app data folder, back up things from there. Everything you may need to save off of your computer just in case things go wrong. And on top of this, it's pretty much a very good idea to install Windows, keeping absolutely nothing, a fresh install. It'll give you better compatibility with drivers and the rest down the line. There'll be fewer issues than if you're upgrading direct from Windows 10 to Windows 11, keeping all of your programs, etc., etc. Things may be faster and better, 
but of course you'll have to go through quite a bit of effort to set up everything once again. So of course, if you're updating to Windows 11, you're probably ready to take the plunge into a rather buggy operating system, at least in its current state. And as you can see, clicking sign in, I'm now running Windows 11, or at least I should be. Start bar at the bottom seems a bit messed up. Let me reconnect to my virtual machine. Things still don't seem to be right. Let's try and restart it. I'll hit the power button and wait for it to shut down. And there we have it. There's the start bar working, classic Windows 11. And of course, everything should be set up and running. Background's missing as I updated a custom Windows 10 to Windows 11. So it's a change there, one of the settings that's causing it to miss. But other than that, it should be a full working version of Windows 11. Of course, if you update from an official Windows 10 build, not a custom OS or anything like that, things should go a lot smoother. Even the desktop icons are in the same place, off center. All of your programs, documents, and the rest should all be here, nice and simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.